but simple harmonic motion jump physics so what is super harmonic motion an object is said to undergo super harmonic motion when number one when the acceleration of the object is directed towards a fixed point number two when the acceleration is when the acceleration of the object is proportional to the distance from the plane or from the equilibrium position now let me explain to you now here we have this stuff here here we have all the equilibrium points here right so here we have this one here and here we have this one here it's okay so here it's called equilibrium position equilibrium equilibrium what position right there so in the saying that an object when an object is set to undergo harmonic motion when the acceleration is directed towards the fixed point or the equilibrium position here so here you can see this one here so it only is directed towards here only is directed towards here do you understand now when you are studying harmonic motion here there are some terms you need to understand here so terms is harmonic motion the first one is called the amplitude amplitude i which is what is a number two is what is the period which is what c number three is called frequency which is what is f it's okay so there are the three things you need to understand when it comes to what super harmonic motion because i want to use the to the study of what super harmonic motion so now what is amplitude amplitude is the maximum displacement of objects from the equilibrium position the maximum displacement for an object of an object from its what equilibrium position so here is what is amplitude a the maximum displacement of an object from its equilibrium position just that that's called uh that is called amplitude now look at what period what is period period is, is time taking for an object to complete one cycle or one oscillation or one vibration or vibration so just that so now let me explain to you here when it comes to one cycle or one oscillation what does it mean here now here we have this one here if you should displace it here now here we are let me just say i have my object here i displace it here right just that the maximum displacement of the object now as what as what amplitude here if i should leave it here what will happen here it will go there one then come back one cycle so the time taking for the, the time taking for the object to complete one cycle is now as a period so the time take from this guy to move here they come by scott one cycle do you understand that's called the period now what is frequency frequency is the numbers of complete oscillation in one second that is it. the numbers of complete oscillation no, numbers of complete oscillation in what one second now these two have their formula do you understand now we talk, we talk about period period is equal to what the time taking or time taking idea to complete one oscillation over what numbers of oscillation numbers of oscillation this, this is that so that your period you got to be what c over what n do you understand now there was this frequency here frequency Then my frequency numbers of oscillation in one second number of oscillation in one second then going to be what numbers numbers of oscillation over numbers of oscillation over what time time taking this is like which got to be what n over what over c now remember this one is what is t right period why is what is f right now there's a relation between two of them just um because these two are what inverse so you can see that p is what one or what frequency or frequency equals what one or what c so these are the what first set of things you need to know when it comes to what simple harmonic what motion now yeah i'm, I'm going to give you various formulas you, you are you are going to use in what solving 
simple harmonic motion. So I want to give you here the various formulas they will can, before you can start solving problem. When it comes to what uh, simple harmonic problem here, here are what the various equations you can use to solve problem when it comes to simple harmonic motion. Although they are much here from one to ten, just and so what want to do so so make sure you what you master this this what uh equations right formulas. Now the only way you can master this formula here is by solving more problems. So the more you solve problems with harmonic motion, the more these formulas get used to you. Just and so if I have W equals to theta over T, right? W is what? My W is called angular velocity, which is called parad. Just and theta is what is the angle turned by the body and got to be rad. Angle turned by the body, which is rad. Then T is what is the time. Time is what in seconds. Now here we have V equals to W out here. V is what is the linear velocity, right? Y W is the what is the angular velocity. The arrow is what is the amplitude. So A and A and R are what amplitude or what radius and measure what meter, right? So it can either be V V equals to W R or V equals to W A, depending on the one give it to you to use. Here we have W equals to two pi f, right? F is what is the frequency. Just can, can be what in per per seconds or what is. Right? T, which what is the period, equals to 2 pi over what, W. Remember, W is what is the angular what velocity, right? So if you have A equals to W square our year, or A equals to W square A. Now, A is what is the linear acceleration. Linear, we have, we have an angular acceleration, or we have a linear what, acceleration. Linear acceleration equals to what? The uh, angular velocity square times the radius or a equals to w square times a right that is it so all you can say w equals to v equals to w square root a square minus f square right now what is my x my x is what displacement of objects from the cent center of the motion just and we have, we have to solve on this one here then we have f equals to w over what two 2 pi. Yes, we, yeah, we have this one here. Now, 360 degree equals to 2 pi rad. You see how we can you, you see how we want to use this to solve, solve the problem here. Then T equals to 1 over F. A equals to what? Uh, angular acceleration. This uh, one is called angular acceleration. Linear acceleration equals to what? Angular acceleration times what? Times what? Radius. So here we have this one here. So what we want to do here is to copy the parts, right? We have our first question on the board here. So now let's solve this problem. How do we tackle this problem here? This are standard exam questions. So you want to pay full attention. So now let's analyze the now let's analyze what the question. For, for, from the question, we get all our parameters, then we probably know the formulas to what to use. So it's that an object of mass. So the mass of object, mass, mass equals to what, 0 0.40 what, kg, right? It's attached to the end of a string, is way ran in a horizontal circle of radius. So my radius, R equals to what, 3.5 what, meter, with a constant speed, that is speed. Remember, speed and acceleration that the same so can, can be what, V, just on so speed and acceleration they are used to change me so you can see what v you got to be what 12 meter per second right calculate what the angular velocity so they say you calculate what w here just on now based on what you have based on what you have been giving here now if you, if you check so here you cannot use this one here because they didn't talk about our theta and what and time right now the one we can easily use will be will be this. So the, the formula we can easily use is going to be this guy here. Just and because the the velocity or the speed is because what uh the angular velocity because since we can play what the angular velocity time so angular velocity time so what radius right so this is the 
from like can easily use. Now, as the amplitude is being given to so can use on here, but they gave us radio. So we are using V equals to what? W what? All right. So if I should work, make W the same formula here, it means that W equals to what? V over what? R will. Now, so are we not going to use the max? The mass we cannot, uh, the mass is not needed here, so we can, you are not going to use it. So, so what I want to do here is what substitute your values and what get your answer. My V is what? My V is what? 12 meter per second per seconds over. My, my hour is what? 3.5. Can you see that? Meter. So remember, meter and meter what to do at right? Three point what four three rad by rad is okay. That that is as easy as that. It's very easy. Now, if I should change value here, I want to, to attend question here. If I change value here, let's say we have five point four five point four meter, and here I have fifty point eight watts meter per second so please go ahead and search for me leave your answer at the comment section so they were the first question let me to the next question now let's look at what the second question here yeah. so this is going to be the last question so this is going to be the part one we also have part two you understand is that the period of, of oscillation of a particle executing superharmonic motion is 16 pi seconds right if the amplitude of oscillation is 4.8 meter Calculate the maximum speed of the word particle solution. So how do we solve this problem here? How do we solve this problem here? Please pay full attention. Eh? Yeah. So how do we solve this problem here? So let's look at the problem here. So that the, period, the period of of oscillation of a particle is executing superharmonic motion is 16 pi. So that is my period, which is what is P. See, I mean, it's equals, equals to 16 pi. Can you see that? Which was per seconds or which was seconds, right? Period. Now, if the amplitude, which is what A, is what is 4.8 watts meter, right? Now, since you will calculate the mass mass speed, which is what is V. Do you understand? So, how do you solve this problem here? Now, therefore, you have, you have to use this. Right? You have to use V equals what? W what? A. Right? Why are we using here? Because since we will calculate this mass mass speed, which is called velocity. Now, we know our amplitude, right? Now, the goal here is to, is to calculate this guy here. So, how do you calculate this one here? Remember, we have we have to give you what T, right? Which is called the period. So now let's see how we can uh, uh, calculate what W, right there, which is called the angular what velocity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you calculate the velocity, where the angular velocity. We we think we are, we are not giving, but they gave us periods. So how do we calculate here? Let's look at the formula here. We can't use this one here. Fine. We can't use it here because two questions were going to give to us fine, right? But guess what? Which one can we use? Now let's we can use this one here. Period equals to what? Two pi over what? Over what? The angular velocity, right? So you can use this guy here. So if 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 you bring for x, c equals to two pi over what w right so if i should what make this w circle that we call angular velocity what, what am i going to get i want to get w equals to what, two pi over what c right now remember my t is what is 16 pi right so if i should place it here you have what two pi over what you have 16 Pi, right? Pi and pi what? 2 over 16. 2 divided by 16. Here we have 0 0.125. So my W here is what? Is 0 0.125. Now 
Now, why is Jimmy G? This what is parade. It's okay. So with this now, kindly we have solved here. So that is with this formula here, I, I've got what my my angular velocity, which is what zero point one two five parad. It's okay. So what I want to do here is so what you put your your formula here. I why is this art? Do you understand? I'll just why is this art? I don't have any other space again. So you got be g equals to what you have zero point one two five parad times. A is what my A is what 4.8 what meter. Do you understand? So that would be 0 0.125 times 4.8. You have about 0 0.6. Now, what is it about linear velocity here? Meter per second, meter per second. So that is the answer. Yeah, we are going to end our class here. If this video is helpful, please leave a comment share this video. If more of this calculation will come your way, right? Please, if you have not joined our private online class, send me a DM so I can what, join our private online class. I take maths, chemistry, and physics to prepare you adequately for, for the exam. Can you please join our membership because we also have classes that is not available here on our membership. On so please, can you join our membership just by using the link below. See you in my next video.